Alright, chumps and chumpets, uh, I'm back, and uh, we're going to fire up Turtles Reshelled. Now, uh, this was completely remade um, independently. Uh, Konami, I don't see any traces of uh, their logo on here. Now, um, initial impressions, I was excited. I said, wow, we got Turtles in Time finally on Live Arcade, and... I had to exhale because it was there's a couple issues that I have with the game first of all it's good that they brought the arcade version back but the, I, I would have had them redo the SNES version and add um, a, a four player support to it because they had more bosses and the stages were longer it was just a, a whole lot better than the arcade right? The intro is pretty pretty cool. I like it. But we're going to skip this. Major no-go for this game is the soundtrack. I don't know if it had to do with licensing issues, but the music is nothing compared to the original. Hands down, the when you're doing level 2, like for instance, hold on, let's see what we got here. Quick play mode. Put on normal. Right. I like how they did the, the attribute. And the art style is pretty cool. Alright. My favorite is Leonardo. Alright. Uh, let's see. Now. Stages are, are kind of short. But my major thing is the music. What were they doing? Ubisoft. Damn. That pissed me off. Alright, first thing, you got your standard attack, you have your heavy attack or your special. Alright, now the game moves at uh, 30 frames. Alright, now we got your standard jump button. Alright, now my only problem is when you're doing like the jump kicks, because now it's in 3D, it's kind of hard to aim it. You know, so it's like, alright, you're looking at the person like on a 3D plane now it's like it's good that they they somewhat try to adapt it to uh, the next gen but you see like right here then you go sideways like the original it wasn't like that because it was flat but it was easier to aim your kicks so it doesn't really help too much and then when you do your heavy attack or your special it doesn't have a penalty like it uh, like it used to and another problem I found with the game is when you have four players, it gets kind of hectic, like Power Stone 2. And they should have uh, found some way to either like do like a zoom in, zoom out feature like King of Fighters, or try to somewhat compensate it from there. But um, yeah, my main my main thing I would love the game if the music was was correct, you know. But other than that, it's it's your standard you know um, beat 'em up and whatnot. Hopefully Capcom can get it together and take care of the rights of Final Fight because that's probably like my only outside of Streets of Rage uh, the, outside of uh, Turtles and all that that was like the best beat em up you can get but um, for what it is I, I like what they tried to do but a lot of elements from the original just it, it doesn't feel right you know but all in all I'm gonna give the game a solid 8 and it's lucky it's even getting that for me, you know. But um, it's 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 a fun game, you know. I'm not gonna completely thrash it, but they they should have kept the original soundtrack. I'm sorry because I was a fan of the old uh, '90s cartoon, you know, Ninja Turtle Power, you know, and all the remixes. But hey, what can you do? You can't have it your way because the companies they think they know what we want, but hey, they should have strayed away from the source material. But um, yeah, it's good lighting, good graphics. You know, and you know, I'm not gonna kill it, but they could they could have done a little bit better. So again, the game gets a solid eight. So um, if you agree or disagree, you can always leave comments here on my uh, YouTube page and whatnot. And then uh, any other games you want me to take a look at, review, so on and so forth. Yeah, you know, we'll go on from there. All right. So ow, I got flattened. Alright, on that note, we're moving on to uh, the Creator's Corner. Hang tight.
Okay, ladies and gents, um, I'm going to start off creative cor the creator's corner a little differently. Now, what you see right here is um, ESF's Andy's feedback video. All right. Now, um, what I have decided to do was I took the, 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 the opportunity where I had some free time at work today and I watched every aspect of that video. Now, each time an issue had popped up, on, on, on uh, GoCam, I paused it, I went to that specific area where the problem was, and I corrected it with that, with that guidance, alright? And, you know, I watched the video about two or three times, but the most effective thing was uh, the fact that I paused it, fixed it as I went along the video. So when I re uh, reviewed it, you know, I made sure I combed through everything. So Andy, all, all of the feedback was applied. However, I may be considering one of two things with the um, the, the, the Gotetsu hair, Air Heaven Rush move. I'm trying to figure out if it's a variable that uh, is creating the, the, like, the change in the damage. If I'm unable or un unsuccessful to uh, alleviate that problem, that move may come out. But, you know, I'm not uh, one to give up so easily. So, I'll definitely be... Uh, taking uh, the, st the time to try and work that out, alright? But uh, I'm going to show you um, a couple characters for Creator's Corner, and uh, I'm going to actually do a little demonstration on the fixes with Goken, alright? So uh, let me minimize this over here, alright? I'm going to open Fighter Factory. Alright, here we go. Move off to the side real fast. I'll just thing load up for you. Alright. Now, mainly, we know that we have issues with the, the, the hitboxing. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is a couple of you guys, like for instance, you, your faggot ass Tengu. He's saying there's problems with the hitboxes. I did everything that Andy had told me to do. So if there's any issues, you can take it up with uh, the people that gave me guidance. So if you're not going to be specific, like I saw your response, Tengu, shut the fuck up. Anyway, back up to uh, this right here. Now, the, one of the main things I fixed on Gokan was the Shinsha Yukin effect. Now, guess what? With this guidance, it doesn't lock up like it did before. The self-state um, piece of advice uh, worked out for me. All right. Now, uh, the hurricane kick. Now, I noticed the damage has been reduced significantly because uh, I didn't realize it was that much of an issue until now. All right. Now, the show you can. Reduce the damage as well. All right. Hopefully you can see it from there. All right. Now with the dash palm, we got this right here. All right. We got ten. I put that at fifteen, and then and I left this one as is. All right. So we took care of the the, the um, glaring problem or whatnot. Now Andy, for the the sidekick, this is what. Put the hit sound in there, all right. And all the hit boxes that have the attack with the red has a blue on top of it. So I'm not. I'm probably gonna send this to a couple of the, you know, established creators to take a look and whatnot. But I did apply all those the the, the feedback there. Now for the the SGS, don't worry about that. That may not be in the final one. You know, that, that's just my private little little move. Alright, so uh, for now, let me save all those changes I made to Goken. Control W. Alright, now.